Hey yo, what's up? Welcome back. In this video we will simulate how to service a carburetor. The carburetor is a component that must be maintained regularly because this component has a very vital function. If you encounter a condition where the motorbike is stuttering or lacking power, it could be because the carburetor is dirty. Therefore watch this video until the end to find out how to disassemble it, what to clean and how to adjust it. The first step, we remove the carburetor from the motorbike. The carburetor I simulated is a PE type carburetor that is most widely used on motorcycles. If you see the carburetor installed on the intake pipe, then the first step is to remove the intake bolt. Then at the front, loosen the air filter clamp. If so, you just pull it. After that, there is a fuel hose and there is a gas cable that is still attached. For the gas cable, you just turn this part counterclockwise. That will remove a component called the piston cap. Then for the fuel line, you can actually remove it from this valve. But if you look at it, this valve has a small screw. So if it is dismantled, it is prone to leaks. So first close the fuel tap, then immediately remove the bottom bowl using a plus screwdriver. Once removed, the top of the carburetor will be separated and we will immediately move it to a clean container. The next step, we will remove the float. The way to do this is to remove the float pin, then take the float. Please note that this needle should not be lost, because this is the needle that prevents the carburetor from flooding. Then we remove the pilot jet and main jet. These two pipes function to channel gasoline into the manifold, so make sure both pipes are clean without any blockages. To remove, simply use a minus screwdriver. Make sure you use a screwdriver that is not too small. Insert the screwdriver, turn counterclockwise while pressing the screwdriver. Once released, clean this pipe, make sure there is no dirt. Next, we clean the channels inside the carburetor. This is very important because there could be dirt in these channels that clog. This dirt that clogs will interfere with the circulation of gasoline to the manifold, so the motor is jerky. To clean it, you can use a tool to plug these channels. You can use a plastic straw, wood or cable. The point is not anything sharp. After that, put gasoline into these channels, shake it, then take out the gasoline again. In addition to the channel in front, this gasoline channel is also very important. This is the channel from the tank hose to the gasoline reservoir in the carburetor bowl. If there is dirt that is blocking it, then the needle that was stuck in the float cannot close tightly. That will cause the carburetor to flood, so clean this channel too. In addition to the above method, you can also use a carburetor cleaning spray. This is sold in motorcycle repair shops. So the method is quite easy. Just spray this liquid into the carburetor holes and also clean the inside of the manifold using a rag or tissue. After the channels have been cleaned, reassemble. Install the pilot jet and main jet. Tighten it just enough. Don't over tighten it because it will damage the structure of both pipes. Then install the float. First place the float needle on the float, then put the float in place. Then insert the pin to lock the float. Make sure the float can move up and down. After that, install the carburetor into its bowl. When tightening this screw, do not overdo it. That is because the carburetor bowl already has a rubber seal. So as long as it is tight, it will not leak. If it is too tight, it will be difficult later when it will be serviced again. The risk is that this screw will be scratched when it is opened. After that, install the skep. Make sure the part with the notch is facing forward. Insert the skep here, then press down while tightening the cap. Don't forget to try the gas first. Make sure when the gas is pulled, it can go back and not hang. Then install the carburetor to the manifold. After all is done, open the gas tap. The last step, the engine RPM setting. The way to do it is to turn on the engine and then tighten the screw in front until approximately two turns. 
this will increase the engine RPM. Then tighten the screw at the back until it stops. This will decrease the engine RPM. After that, open the screw in the back again, about 1.5 turns. After that, loosen the screw in the front again until the RPM drops. Here you are free to set the ideal RPM. Make sure it is not too low, because it will cause the engine to die. That is how to service a carburetor. Hopefully this video can can help you. Thanks for watching.